Welcome to the weathering lab here at NCPTT. Uh, in this lab, we have various instruments that we use to do what we call accelerated weathering. So this is a QUV weatherometer. Uh, we have two of them here at NCPTT. And basically what this instrument does is it accelerates natural weathering. So for example, we have stone and brick samples in here that have been coated with various herbicides, and we want to know how that will weather in the future. So in supposed to putting the chemical on and waiting six months, a year, two years to see what the effects might be, we can put them in the QV and monitor their effects over time. So the way it works is the QV has ultraviolet radiation inside it. Uh, essentially, it's kind of like a glorified tanning bed. It exposes the samples to light and dark cycles, similar to what they would experience outside, but a very harsh environment. So we have UVA or UVB bulbs, depending on if we're wanting to um, see how they would weather inside a structure, inside a building with, a, with harsh lighting, or outside related to sunlight. And that's what we have in here now um, are bulbs that would simulate sunlight. They get exposed as per an ASTM standard. Uh, there's a wide variety of ASTM standards that we use depending on type of substrate and what we're testing, paint versus uh, chemical treatment versus a coating. So they're weathered in here uh, for a variety of times. So for example, these samples are only weathered for about 400 hours which would be about six months out of the real world. They go through a light cycle and a dark cycle, and that causes a humidity change in it. So the samples are exposed to moisture, humidity, UV radiation, um, a wide variety. And what we can do is look at the samples and how they relate to each other. So for example, we do a lot of testing of paint coatings. Uh, we'll, we'll put samples, maybe we're painting wood or uh, painted samples on plastic, any kind of substrate. Um, we can put them in the QV, we'll weather them, and then we'll compare across the board. We'll compare the samples to each other. So different paint types, maybe different prep styles, different substrates, and how those weather over time against each other. Uh, here in our indoor laboratory setting, we also have roof racks at Lee H. Nelson Hall that looks at uh, outdoor accelerated weathering. So those racks are on the roof, they're turned to the optimal angle of the sun, and the racks themselves are set at the optimal angle. So a lot of times we correlate both outdoor accelerated weathering with indoor accelerated weathering. And we can look at you know, how uh, coating fades or how it changes over time. Uh, for example, a lot of coatings that we use in conservation, we want to know, okay, in two years, in five years, is that coating going to weather? Is it going to yellow? Is it going to change the appearance of my statue or my building? So we can test them with the QVs to tell that. And then we don't have to wait five years to get an answer. Uh, we can run them uh, so many thousand hours and be able to relate that back.